Hi everyone, this is my Android head unit and let's try something new, yeah? A new launcher. Let's go to App Store or Google Play Store, what do you call this? Yeah. And over here you can search for Real Dash. I have actually searched for it earlier, that's why it's here. And in this Real Dash, as you can see it's 48 Mac and it got more than 100,000 downloads. So it should be quite good, yeah? And if you look at this, this is how it looks like pretty nice pretty cool yeah but um, let's really test it out by installing it so now it's downloading it pending for download it's now downloading 62% and it's almost done 98% now installing now it's done I can just press on open and see how it looks like so it's by this company called Napco. And the animation is pretty nice, yeah? Real Dash, do we do whatever we like? That's, that's cool, yeah? Actually, it's pretty nice. And uh, the English is fine. Okay. Welcome to Real Dash, da da da. Let's go through the tutorial. So, next we will show you how to set the connections. Great. Press OK. Whoa. Not bad. So unit and values metric US. OK. And drag on the screen to rotate the camera. What do I need to do? Oh, OK. Well, this like a, this is like a game. Tap the door to open. Tap the instruments to set connections. OK. Kind of connections are you looking at? At I see this is the oh, okay, this is the OC ECU. I think uh, ODB2. These are the things. Uh, I think the key, if you can, uh, there's an ODB2 simple device where you can actually plug into your car. Uh, it's a Bluetooth device where you can actually connect to this. Uh, I don't have that. But once you connect that, that it will send some information about your car uh, from your car's computer or for your car ECU direct to the screen here, to this dash. So I don't have that. Uh, I won't be able to show you. So I just press done. Not set. But that's okay, yeah? Uh, press X. And what else? Tap here to set the transmission gear ratio. Whoa. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, what else? Tap the vehicle name. Oh, you can change that, yeah? My supercar, yeah, that's fine. I'll leave it be. 1650. I think my car is, yeah, around that. Um, the odometer is in km, trip by km, max speed, blah blah blah. Vehicle color, maybe I can change to another color. I don't know. My, my car is actually in blue. But how do I get blue here? Ah, there you go. Darker blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? I think. I think that's it. So basically, this is not a car launcher. This is a dashboard where you can link to your uh, O2DP, I think that's what you call it. Yeah. Uh, once you link to that, then you will send information to this file, you know, such as your car temperatures, uh, how fast you're moving, and of course, it, it also comes with some, some sort of uh, uh, Launchers settings, uh, launchers features such as you know this one, um, the player, but it's not playing anything, or oh, it changed to navigation. And I'm not so sure what is this, but it looks cool. Okay, when I click on this, well, nothing happens. Oh, this will change as well. Okay, very nice. The fuel consumptions, fuel level temperatures of the car and it also shows you the 
battery whether your battery is off or on you have this uh, oil Just tap into this area to open the menu and over here you can get to see what gallery is this I see I think this is the teams yeah so these are the teams for the premium ones you can have all this a lot of them but uh, they're not cheap the it will ring it uh, it ring it nine ring it well this is already unlocked which is none free is here uh, you need to download the the screens for you or oh, that's not bad yeah free you get so many of them so you get about eight yeah nine interesting um, this is what examples hmm. dashboard gizmo okay let's go back to the main screen okay enable notifications how do I do that let's see drill dash allow all right go back so this is the screen so this is the date this is the time this is temperature yeah and this is how many kms i've gone to the throttle what do i what else i do here um there's a wi-fi signal whether i'm connected or not i mean that's it pretty simple and uh it's not connected to my computer ECU so uh, a lot of stuff I can't really test out maybe next time I'll just buy that uh, Bluetooth thingy the O2 BD yeah, I think you call that um, let's see what else okay okay Dino the do not use performance measure features on public roads where safety equipment is gonna be stupid okay i understand start a new run oh this is where you do your what you call this zero to hundred yeah and how fast you can go how fast you can get to hundred in in how, how much time i think that's it. and max talk max power it's really cool yeah uh, stop the run so this, this is cool yeah this is where you can really test your car whether you are getting a fast car or a car like mine which is not so fast okay let's see what else uh, block viewers you need to pay for it to see what you have done okay how do I get this yeah I garage or information garage Ah, I see. Tap the hood to set engine parameters. Oh, V8. Mine is not. Mine is just a four cylinder engine and it's not 6000. How do I set that? Mine is just a 2000. 2000 cc and max RPM is. How do I see this? Sorry. Oh, should be 8000 then, yeah. And idle below, idle below 900. Uh, my idling is around, yeah, it's below 900. And inject size, not too sure. Polymetric efficiency, well, I have no idea what's all this. So that should be it, yeah? Hey, how do I do this? Hmm. Oh, it also shows your parking yeah i'm actually putting in p yeah, but it's not it's not a uh, sync because of the it's not connected to the ecu okay settings so this is the one data source uh, which is connected to uh, which one you're connected to yeah uh, oh, simulation that'd be just nice yeah mine if it's not connected to anything just put as simulations uh, for demo purpose yeah Oh, units and values okay km per hour km you can change to miles knots i'm using kms and vehicle speed source uh, my speed source is gps because i don't have connection to the 
direct to the ECU or the computer of this uh, car. Okay, and temperature is Celsius. Yes, pressure units is uh, this is most likely uh, talking about the tire pressures. I'm using PSI and horsepower. Power units, yeah, we're using horsepower. Date format, uh, DDM and YYY is fine. And time format, 24 hours. Maybe I change to 12 hours format. Liter per 100 km, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, fuel economy, 8.5 per 100. Yep, of course, you can change it to this km per liter, but uh, I still feel that liter per 100 km this is what i use the most next um, wow what is this engine cooling set from stuff well i have no idea what it is this is hmm okay so sorry i am not so familiar with all this input mapping okay trip diary well, this is telling you how much fuel are you using. Hmm. And say my fuel price is only one ringgit, and I think it's now about thirty cent. Yeah, I think it's two ringgit. So sorry, I I I I, I don't really check on how much is the fuel. I just pump because I still need to pump anyhow. It's not that I can pump lesser. Um. Save trips. I need to pay for it. My goodness. Okay. Data multicast. I need to pay for it. Hmm. LDS. Live data streaming. And I still need to pay for it. Okay. Apps. Ask confirmation on exit. Da -da. Shut down USB attachment. Okay, offline mode. Yeah, I'm using offline mode, battery safe mode. Yeah, this would be good. Automatic Bluetooth enable or disable. Uh, this is important if you have that ECU uh, connection thingy. Yeah, if you enable it, then automatically you can actually set it. You know, once you come to into the car, it's already set. Then uh, whatever your car move, you know, you will move together. Yeah, whatever changes you will you will see from here as well, which is really cool. Yeah, shut down on headset detached event. Uh, okay, doesn't matter. Keep connected on background. This is good. Uh, disable internal GPS. That's if you are not going to use the GPS. Um, yeah, you can disable it, but I don't. I don't. I'm using it. Yeah, so I won't disable it. Uh, notifications. Well, just set everything on, doesn't matter. User, we can change the name and we can connect to Pluto Play Games, Google Play Games. Why Why would you want to play games? Hmm, no idea. Okay, the music player is now Spotify, or you can use the real dash. Oh, not bad, yeah. I think I have Power M. Or if I can use others, can I? Nope. I can, but I don't know how to set it. So I just put power M then. Or I just put real dash. And I can select music from the locations. Um, I think, where is this? How do I show internet storage? Hmm. Okay, USB drive. And MP3s folder. Yeah, this is all files locations, MP3 folders. Okay, others. Yeah, I should buy the full version, which is the three ringgit around. And where is my car? Is to show you the current location. Hmm. Okay. And you can restore purchases. But I've not bought it, so nothing will happen. And about this is talking about what is the version of your real dash and well the credits goes to whom. 
I think that's it. A lot of things in the settings. And this is simulations, yeah? This is not real. This is to show you that when it happens, this is moving this way, yeah? I wouldn't be driving like this. Come on, 500 over km per hour. 700 over km per hour. I mean, it looks really nice. Really nice. Uh, I think I'm just gonna buy a, a Bluetooth thingy, yeah, to connect this and test it out. And throttle as well. Wow, okay. So let's try. Oh, okay. This will move as well. And just my location. Not too sure what is that. Of course, the medias. Okay, uh, let's try. Oh, edit. What does this do? Watch the link. What's this? Well, I can actually do editing you know, on, on every single things over here. Wow, the positioning of it, x, y, the height. I don't think I want to change anything. I just leave it be, you know. Uh, okay, there you have it. Uh, this is real dash, and it's not a car launcher. It's sort of like a um, what do you call this? A dash uh, for you to see information. A dashboard for you to see information. More like an extension from here to this side. Yeah, because this is just way more than a normal launcher. What you can do, you can show you the speeds and real time speeds, yeah, not about uh, getting GPS signal speeds because this can actually connect to your Bluetooth. Uh, there's a device where you can connect to your car and it will immediately, you know, maybe there's some, some lag a little bit, you know, 0.12 second. I don't know because that's wireless, yeah. Uh, you can see all sorts of information uh, real time and you can also connect to if you're in on the internet you can see your location as well and all this as well so that's it thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video and perhaps next time I'll just buy one of the device there to connect to the computer directly into, into the car to this real dash and do another review. Thank you. Bye.